what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so today is kind of a random video but i decided to bring both of my cars out here just to take some photos and videos and i figured i might as well show you guys both cars together now, i haven't shown the impreza in a long time so i figured why don't i just shoot a quick video maybe give you guys some updates on the car but this is just mostly a yapping video so yeah regardless hope you guys enjoyed the video Let's start it. As you guys can see off in the distance, I have both my cars here, and I just decided to randomly do this today. Uh, both cars aren't even clean at all. I haven't washed them in a good bit, but it's kind of a rare opportunity to bring them out here together. So yeah, I figured just do a quick update video, kind of just showing off the cars. So of course, on the right is my 2020 Toyota 86. On the left is my 2015 Subaru Impreza. So both of these cars have changed my life in more ways than one. <laughs> and honestly, I still really can't believe that I have both just chilling right here. But yeah, guys, let's do a quick walkthrough. I know we just did the mod review video for the 8.6. So if you guys haven't checked that out, feel free to visit the link below. So yeah, my 8.6. Here's my Impreza, nothing crazy. This car has been on the channel for a while. I've had this car for about nine years now for those who are new to the content. But yeah, guys, <laughs> just can't believe I have both of them out here right now. Let me know in the comments below which one you'd pick. Would you pick the Impreza or would you pick the 8.6? And this video isn't trying to flex or anything like that. These are literally the only things I have. So I'm very grateful. Felt like it was cool to show this on video. I don't, hadn't really had both cars in the video. Yeah, guys, maybe I'll do a quick walk around of the Impreza real fast, just because it's been a good while. And honestly, there hasn't been a whole lot of changes since the last video where I did a model review. So yeah, we're gonna bring this back on the channel right now. So here it is, guys, 2015 Subaru Impreza 2.0i. It is literally just the base model Impreza, nothing crazy. It's automatic CVT super slow definitely slurred on my 86 so it's really just a cruiser at this point and my winter car although i do drive the 86 when the weather permits even if it's cold out otherwise the impreza is the main car during the winter months but yeah guys i had van gt's on it it's on airlift 3p i did some con led tail lights then i did the full oem kit not really kit just all the add-ons so i got the rear strakes side skirt all the additional slash guards added on and the front lip setup. We've been all of this before on the channel, but all it is is the OEM front straight pieces and the 2015 plus WRX front lip. Actually, this is a 2018 plus lip bolted on like that. Nothing crazy. <laughs> Got my retrofit headlights that I did a couple of years ago. So custom projectors, painted the housings, added the C light from Diode Dynamics. Of course, the Corazon front grill. Nothing too fancy in here. And then on the interior, do have the STI swap. So have the front seats going on. Along with the rear seats here. So I have a video on the channel as well, of me installing these, but yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I've had the Impreza for almost 10 years at this point. It has about 104,000 miles on it. Honestly, it's just been such a reliable and fun car for what it is. And there's really, really never had any issues with it. 8.6 I've had for about three and a half years now. And that's of course my latest project and car. So yeah, you guys can kind of see the similarities between the both of them just in terms of the styling. As you can tell, I do like the extended aero kind of thing. I have uh, side skirt extensions. Uh, I used to have a front splitter on the Impreza, but I took that off. And of course, I had the battle aero on the 8.6 as well. And believe it or not, the Impreza used to have a giant wing as well. So it used to have the battle aero hatch mount wing. So honestly, I'm kind of wondering like what this scene would look like if I still had the hatch mount wing and now that I have the Voltex wing on the 8.6 like that would be such a sight to see but I did take off the hatch wing I didn't think it looked great after a while and it was just kind of too much for the car but yeah both are on Advan GTs both are the same exact spec uh, except the Impreza has some 255 40s on and the 8.6 has 255 35 I do want to eventually go to a square setup on the Impreza I just right now these tires were what I had available so that's why we're running a little stretch 
Oh yeah, guys, I just, <laughs> probably my two proudest accomplishments are right in front of me here. Definitely don't take anything for granted, of course. They have both cars have the Katana style banner available on the website now. And just a disclaimer, the banner is just the vinyl center part. This black vinyl piece is a separate thing. All you have to do is go on Amazon, buy a five foot by 12 inches tall roll of vinyl, whatever color you like. And then you can just put that on and then put our sticker on top. And there you are. So the Impreza was the first car I ever modified. So this car has been through a varying stage <laughs> of how it looks. Definitely, of course, started off with all the beginner mods, rep wheels, all that fun stuff. And honestly, that was probably some of the best times. Just about four years ago, I decided to kind of clean up the car more, try to put OEM plus additions on, and then I bought the TEs for the car. It's kind of made it into this cruiser, not really show car because it wasn't my show car, it's my daily driver. I don't know, just enjoying the process. I mean, the performance department of this car is lacking. There's really not a whole lot you can do, uh, especially with CVT. I mean, let's just be real. This is not a fast performance car by any means. So I really never had intentions of doing anything crazy. Uh, of course, I do have the Brembo swap on the front. It's kind of funny that the Impreza has better brakes than my 8.6 but yeah this is mostly mostly for the aesthetics i mean you guys can see like it does fill out the wheel well especially for the advance pretty well so it does give me a good visual aid for what the 8.6 will look like with a big brake kit actually the original intention was to swap over the brembos from the impreza onto the 8.6 but with the kit i have it's not really that easy to reverse and go back to stock so i'm just gonna leave it on the impreza but yeah guys sorry the impreza is absolutely filthy <laughs> it rained and sat outside for about a week so <laughs> Haven't had a chance to clean it. Might run it through an auto wash here shortly after this video or something. 8.6, kind of a similar deal going on here. I don't care when the dirt doesn't really show up, which is a good thing, but yeah, both cars are uh, pretty dirty. I'd say with both cars, I probably do drive the 8.6 much more, uh, just because I bought the 8.6 to drive it and it's just so much fun. I've driven the Impreza for so long that there was a reason why I got the 8.6. So 8.6 definitely sees a lot more mileage throughout the week compared to the Impreza. But I guess recently the Impreza has put on quite a few miles just from going out of state and doing other fun things. But yeah, 8.6 is, I would say, 80% my daily driver. <laughs> Which I guess to some people it's kind of crazy because I have all this aero and it's low and everything. Honestly, my, my whole philosophy, and I'm sure many others share the same, you build the car to drive it. So even with everything that's on the car, I still love driving this thing everywhere. Of course, with the Impreza, it's definitely a lot less nerve-wracking in terms of going into unknown environments just because it's on air. So I don't have to worry about scraping or even parking and stuff. But besides that, load the 8.6 love that I can drive it all the time. So like I've mentioned, I'm not really sure where this video is headed. Now that we have both cars out here, maybe I can just do a quick comparison of the two. So in terms of comfort, just based on the setup I currently have right now, I will say the Impreza is a whole lot more comfortable than the 8.6, but I think the reasons are obvious. I mean, the Impreza has some nice cushioned OEM seats, leather and Alcantara, I mean, you can't beat that for quality. Also, the bags ride pretty soft the way I have it set. So, <laughs> in comparison to the 8.6, where we have bucket seats, stiff suspension, low. Just based on what you have, the Impreza definitely takes the comfort award because, <laughs> yeah, sometimes long trips in the 8.6 are a little bit painful, but I'd still do it anyways. In terms of performance mods and performance in general, obviously the 8.6 is way above the Impreza. 8.6 to some is still underpowered, honestly. Coming from an Impreza, the 8.6 is pretty good for me. I mean, yeah, it's not a super fast car in a straight line, but man, this thing just rips corners like no other. Definitely performance-wise, 8.6 takes it. 8.6 has the FA20. Impreza has the FB20. 8.6 is about 200 wheels to the crank. Impreza is about 100 wheels to the crank. So this kind of plays into the comfort department of these two cars. But in terms of daily drivability, I think the Impreza for sure, just because it's on air, it's, you know, not it's kind of a low-key car. I don't have to worry as much about it 
Uh, I mean, I still park far away to avoid door dings and things, but I just feel a little less anxious driving the Impreza uh, compared to the 8.6, just because the 8.6, I've put a lot into it, and it's a car I'm going to keep forever, most likely. So, yeah, the Impreza, while it was my, you know, number one pride and joy at some point, it just kind of comes with... <laughs> When you get something else, the other one doesn't get as much, you know, attention. But, you know, I'm trying to do better. Uh, this car is still in the process of getting a nice refresh. You can see I have uh, one of those bacon fenders in the front. A lot of paints chipping from the... Uh, Aero that I painted before. Headlights need to be re-cleared again. Just a little <laughs> couple odds and ends, but yeah, in terms of daily drivability, I think the Impreza just by principle is better than the 8.6, but like I mentioned earlier, I do drive the 8.6 most of the time. So yeah, the air suspension helps, especially when you're going through cities or any incline that is absolutely awful <laughs> you can just air up and be fine but that's the price you have to pay if you want to be static you got to do it man that's it and of course everything i say right now is a matter of opinion so since they're both my cars i can really say whatever i want but in terms of looks and aesthetics i do think the 86 looks better i mean it's kind of hard to compare as you know they are different cars but i do find the 86 to have a lot more aggressive styling I mean, it is a two-door car. The Impreza will always be a four-door hatchback. I don't know, what do you guys think? Which one would you take? <laughs> like, let's set aside the performance aspect of it. It's based on appearance. Which one would you rather have? But yeah, I'm not really sure what else to film. I just went over both cars real fast. I'm sure we'll see the Impreza on the channel in the future. Uh, right now, it's just... Not really much going on with it. I put the Advans on and kind of clean it up for Boxer Fuss, but besides that, it has not changed a whole lot since the last time it's been on the channel. The 8.6 is an ongoing project forever. I mean, there's a lot of plans for this car in the next year that I plan to do at some point. But the Impreza is mostly, I would say, finished. There's not much more I want to do with it. Although one idea I've been toying with and it might be possible is doing a BRZ transmission swap on this. So making it a six speed rear wheel drive hatchback, that would be pretty sick. But honestly, I don't think that's in the near future, at least as of right now, since we're really focusing on the 8.6. So I'm just gonna end the video there, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. Hopefully the video wasn't just a whole lot of rambling, but again, I wanted to take the cars out today, get both, both of them in the same frame and uh, yeah, that's really it. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at will.kgfx. Got Katana Style, katanastyle.com, and at katana.style on Instagram. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.